presents the fourth edition of the Multimodal Logistics Summit 2023, powered by Speedways Logistics, co-presented by Jodak Shipping, organized by India Sea Trade in association with Federation of Indian Export Organizations. Can we hear a loud round of applause for this amazing platform that encourages meaningful discussions towards the improvement of the sector? Well, that's not loud enough, but we'll let go of it right now. Welcome to session two, developing smart solutions for current logistics challenges. This session focuses on the logistics issues faced by exporters and importers and how service providers are addressing those problems in innovative ways. So ladies and gentlemen, to discuss and debate on this topic, I would like to invite the dignitaries on stage one by one. We'll move on to our next speaker of the day, Mr. Debashish Mitra, CEO, Behag Overseas. Ladies and gentlemen, with a loud round of applause, let's welcome him on stage. He's a postgraduate in sociology and business administration and started his career in logistics in the middle of 1999 at Kolkata. For the last 22 years, Mitra not only acquired the experience of vast subject of international logistics, but also qualified Regulation 8, which is conducted by Ministry of Finance, to authorize him as their agent to work related with export and import. Debashish Mitra have he has his own offices in Kolkata and branch offices throughout the Bengal land port. His organization, Behag Overseas, work for international logistics shipping throughout the world, especially Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Debashish Mitra for you. Welcome, sir. Panel, a very passionate uh, logisticians from Kolkata, Mr. Debashish Mitra. Uh, I would like you to I mean, you personally discussed, uh, so I want everybody to benefit from that uh, firsthand. Basically, uh, can you speak about the development of land ports and river ports between India and its neighboring countries, including Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan? So, because it's a very key area for promoting regional connectivity and trade in South Asia region. So, please uh, share some information about the projects that have already been completed and the projects are in pipeline to go for this particular region. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I thank you, Sea Trade, and my panelists to give us me opportunity to speak. Uh, Nobinji has told me to talk about the Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan for the land port and the riverine port and as well as rail port. Reddy sir is here. We, as I am from Bengal and I do not know that as we, the, all the people here we are sitting, mostly the logistics people and the people who are give us foods, that means the exporters and importers. For Bengal, if we talk about the port, we used to talk about the Kolkata seaport, Haldia port and Kolkata airport. There are very few people we know about that in West Bengal, there are another 23 port, yes, another 23 land port and 22 port as already in EDI and only one port yet not being EDI. It is, it is supposed to being EDI within this year. We are going to strong recommendations to our Commissioner of Customs Preventive West Bengal to make the, that land port also to the EDI system. The issue, I can told one thing is also that for India, Almost 30 to 35 percent export business we are doing with Bangladesh. And uh, from here, from Andhra, from Chennai, there is a huge movement of cargo is moving towards uh, Bangladesh and coming also towards from Bangladesh. Now, as my 
destiny and my work is hardcore custom house agent first and after that whatever you are beginning the definitions means freight forwarding transporters and whatever the language we are using like we are doing all these things now if the experience we are telling when i came in this in in this uh, business in this world it's a very little journey of 22 years i understood and i know that there are almost zero infrastructure we are working if anybody from here used to send any goods from land port i still there is also fear on that that if i will send my cargo it will stuck up in border at least one and half months it is a notice yes we are exporting the trucks after 45 days even now thanks to all the government all the customs policy and we as a logistics partner as a customs broker with a continuous pressure now the land port detentions become zero the people who are talking about the logistics cost reductions i can tell that we are successfully able to deliver a cargo i am uh, giving the sorry i am giving the brand name because uh, this uh, brand name can able to understood that whom they are using this chitagang there is a uh, one big player is there the company name is puma we have committed them from chitagang to chennai the one shipment will bring from factory to factory within 15 days within 15 days and we able to complete within 13 days so the costings the reduction of time is coming very much well now from Ch from bangalore to petrapol to the destinations the goods are being exported within 4 to 5 days and from bangalore to destinations where the factory is going it is going to maximum 10 days the transit time the cost is being drastically reduced now the main problem is that when we talk about the river in port we used to depend on the barge and the barges whatever the plying over the route protocol route the mostly bangladeshi barge there are very few indian barges are there why because neither no government no bank no financial organization will sponsor or will give you finance to purchase a barge so this is a big problem for us those we are the small players and those who are the big players they doesn't have to use to go in this business also in uh, within bangladesh we have four to five railway station port that means once you load the cargo in the railway wagon the rail will go inside the bangladesh port and offload the material as the future we are being spoken we are being told that there is a huge infrastructure is developing in dhaka in um, help of government of india where you will book the train and the material will move towards dhaka so that there should not be any cost at the border but the problem is that what we are doing in now that whatever the custom station we used to go still there is zero infrastructure the officers the railway officers we used to go to the open railway track and the examination is happening on that area here there are lots of big people are there to make the investment on there if there is any possibilities i am telling you sir if there is minimum shot of investments there are lots of things can be happen 
on these land ports. Apart from Bengal, Bangladesh is also connecting with 13 land port, which is in Assam, which is on Tripura. The people, we as a customs broker, we used to fight each other in the all major ports like Kolkata, uh, like Vizak, like Chennai and all these things. I am telling that there are ports where only one custom house agent is there. Currently, the port name is Sutarkhandi. It is in Asham. This is a land port. Only one custom house agent is working. Only two transporters or logistics partner is working. Nobody is there. Another port which is connecting to uh, Bhutan, there is no custom house agent, no logistic partner is there. The port name is Kulkuli and only two agent is going. Now the port name is, uh, um, the port which is connected to the um, uh, Bhutan people and I am I sure that everybody knows about the product of Druk and all these things from the Bhutan which is very nearer to this port it is the name is Chamurchi and other side is Luxan. So the scope and so the business so the opportunity to make the cost, cost in a very reducing manner there is a huge opportunity is still there we only not able to focusing those areas which we should focus we should make the infrastructure and we should not depend to our government and blame that this should not be doing very well thank you very much anything thank you very much so when you're talking about all these things, I think 20, 30 years ago, even Pearl River Delta in China was like this. And so many people from Hong Kong and have gone and developed that region. So I'm sure you've given a lot of insights to people to come to uh, the region, eastern region, and explore the opportunities there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. May I request you to kindly be seated. Thank you, sir, for uh, moderating the session on time. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, to present a memento to these gentlemen who, uh, you know, gave us such amazing insights, um, I'd like to invite on stage Mr. S. Padmanabhan, Director, Sattva Logistics, please. Ladies and gentlemen, let's invite him with a loud round of applause. <laughs> As I call out the names, I request the dignitaries to kindly step forward. First, may I request Mr. Debashish Mitra, CEO of Bihar Overseas, to kindly come forward and receive the memento. Thank you so much. Two, on developing smart solutions for current logistics challenges. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Kindly join the audience. Thank you, sir.